The purpose of this sortie was to evaluate modes and employment techniques for the F-15's APG-63 radar. The F-16's were to provide multiple entities and maximum sorting problems for the F-15's. The F-16's were to sweep from the north while the F-15's defended in the south. This was an early morning sortie and the sun was low to the southeast. The mountains were covered with snow and it was the first snow of the year. The sortie was briefed as an all-altitude war which meant that any engagement below 10,000 feet would be limited to 180 degrees of turn followed by a local termination. I was number three in the formation of F-16s. My job was to head south at the beginning of the fight and at this ridge, or 25 miles from the closest threat, whichever came first, I was to descend rapidly to low altitude, maneuver to the beam, and terrain mask behind this ridge. We had calculated that an aircraft behind the ridge would not be detectable by an adversary unless he was above 25,000 feet. From this beam position, I would yet then use my onboard radar, visual, and information from other flight members to either engage offensively or withdraw. The first engagement went as planned in that I was able to make it to the ridge and successfully terrain mask. I was then able to enter the fight untargeted. The second engagement started the same as the first except that the F-15s committed earlier and I reached the 25 mile action point 10 miles north of the ridge. I maneuvered to the beam and then began a rapid descent to low altitude. I held this heading for 20 seconds and then began a turn back to the south. My intent was to fly the low altitude portions of this mission at 300 feet AGL since this is the minimum altitude for offensive or defensive threat reaction and because this altitude would allow some time for radar visual lookout. I had loaded 100 feet AGL as the warning altitude for my radar altimeter to the data transfer cartridge since this was my minimum altitude. My habit was to reset this value to 50 feet prior to takeoff so that I'd avoid a nuisance audio and visual warning on takeoff when the gear retracts. I did do this on the mishap sortie and then forgot to reset the altitude warning to 100 feet after I was airborne. I also had the habit of decluttering the HUD, altitude, attitude, and airspeed information on air-to-air -air missions. This meant that the only altitude feedback I got was the HUD warning symbol triggered when I flew below the warning altitude. You will see this visual warning during the mishap sequence. This flashing warning symbol shows that I crossed a ridge at less than 50 feet AGL. I should add that I understood the minimum altitude to apply to level terrain and not to ridge crossings. It's very clear to me now that this understanding was completely wrong. My memory of the events just prior to impact were that I looked up from the radar to see a ridge approaching. Review of my radar tape shows that I adjusted the elevation thumb wheel at this point and this is the last time I remember looking at the radar. I had seen this ridge approaching previously so it wasn't a surprise. I began a wings level pull to clear it and I remember thinking that it was time to turn back to the east. I perceived that I had cleared the ridge and then began a bunt back down. I remember looking to the left of the nose over the ridge and seeing the valley ahead and I remember noticing that it was very bright due to the low sun angle and the snow. I then picked up motion in my lower right peripheral vision, kind of like a bird going by. I thought uh, I turned and looked and I saw the trees approaching. I thought I yelled and pulled hard on the stick, but the tape shows that I didn't say anything until after the collision. There was a definite feeling of impact like a bad compressor stall. There was a puff of smoke through the air conditioning system and the engine began to run rough. I reduced the power until the engine smoothed out and then began to climb. After a knock it off call, I got the flight lead to rejoin and then flew a straight in approach. It's a tribute to the engine that I kept running after eating parts of the tree and a tribute to the aircraft that had handled normally with this damage. I don't even remember making a trim change. My primary emotion on the return to base was disgust. I had nearly killed myself and obviously damaged an aircraft on a peacetime mission. What an epitaph that would have been. I didn't have time to be scared at the time, uh, but I did have a rough time getting to sleep that night, and I was sure happy to be alive the next morning. Use all the aids available to ensure that you're not flying lower than planned or allowed. If you have a radar altimeter, set the warning altitude appropriately 
for the mission and conditions, but not below your minimum altitude. Don't get in the habit of triggering the warning, even on ridges. Remember, the minimum altitude is always the minimum altitude. Don't declutter the HUD of useful information, especially at low altitude. Leave the HUD altitude scales up so that you're always getting altitude feedback.